reading of Unit 3 is about the famous painter Pablo Picasso, his early life. On 25th of October 1881, a baby boy was born in Malaga, Spain. It was a difficult birth, and to help him breathe, cigar smoke was blown into his nose. This baby grew up to be one of the 20th century greatest painters, Pablo Picasso. Picasso showed his genius from a very young age. His first word was lapis, Spanish for pencil, and he could draw before he could talk. He was the only son in the family, so he was thoroughly spoiled. Here the word spoiled means mudallal. Thoroughly spoiled mudallal bisura kamila aw bisura tam. He hated school and often refused to go unless he was allowed to take one of his father's pet pigeons with him. The word pigeons mean hamam, al hamam. Apart from pigeons, his great love was art. When, he, when in 1891 his father got a job as an art teacher, Pablo went with him to work and watched him paint. Sometimes he was allowed to help. One evening his father was painting a picture of their pigeons when he had to leave the room. When he returned, Pablo had completed the picture. It was so beautiful and lifelike. Lifelike mean, here means realistic or natural. يعني معناها نابضة بالحياة أو كأنما هي لوحة حية. That he gave his son his palette. Palette هاي لوحة لرسم الألوان. And brushes and never painted again. Pablo was just 13. His life as an artist. His genius as an artist was soon recognized by many people, but others were shocked by his strange and powerful paintings. He is probably best known for his cubist pictures. يعني معروف عن بيكاسو أنه هو يتبع المدرسة التكعيبية. Cubist pictures. شنو معناها cubist pictures? His portraits of people were often made up of triangles and squares with their features in the wrong places. يعني معناها أنه هو كان يستخدم المثلثات والمربعات في لوحاته وأوجه الأشخاص أو ملامحهم تكون دائما في المكان الخطأ في اللوحة. One of his famous portraits was one of the American writer Gertrude Stein who he met after he'd moved to Paris in 1904. His work changed ideas about art around the world, and to millions of people, modern art means the work of Picasso. Guernica, which he painted in 1937, records the bombing, bombing of that small Basque town during the Spanish Civil War and is undoubtedly one of the masterpieces of modern painting. Masterpieces piece means His final years. Picasso married twice and he had four children. The last Paloma was born in 1949 when he was 68 years old. At the age of 90, he was honored by an exhibition. Exhibition means ma'rab, in the Louvre in Paris. He was the first living artist to be shown there. Picasso created over 6,000 paintings, drawings, and sculptures. Sculptures means manhutat or tamathil. Today, a Picasso costs millions of pounds. Once the French Minister of Culture was visiting Picasso, the artist accidentally spilled some paint on the minister's trousers. Picasso apologized and wanted to pay for them to be cleaned, but the minister said, None, please, 
Monsieur Picasso, just sign my trousers. Picasso died of heart failure during an attack of influenza in 1973. هاي واحدة من لوحات بيكاسو عبارة عن مثلثات ومربعات و features of people faces in the wrong places. Write these nouns in the correct column. رح نأخذ بس عشر أسماء من هاي الكلمات. Okay. Arts is a column and literature here is a column. Art means the fun and literature the adab. نشوف أي كلمة تأتي مع ال art وأي كلمة تأتي مع ال literature. So painter comes with art. Painter. comes with art. طبعا الرسام ويا الفن مو ويا الأدب. Art. Author الكاتب تأتي مع الليترشر الأدب. Poet شاعر تأتي مع الليترشر. البوم القصيدة تأتي أيضا مع الليترشر. Sculpture اللي هي التمثال قلنا أو المنحوتة تأتي مع الأرت. Novel الرواية تأتي مع الأدب الليترشر. Picture comes with art. Brush also الفرشة comes with art. Palette مثل ما قبل شوية ذكرت إنه هي لوحة لألوان الرسم لوحة ألوان الرسم ألوان الرسم sorry comes with art مع الفن. Chapter يعني هنا فصل من رواية من novel أو فصل من كتاب comes with literature. So only these ten words come with art and literature. طبعا هي كلهم احنا يعني المفروض نفصلهم بالcolumns لكن اني اطيتكم بس هاي العشرة اللي حد كلمة chapter. كلمة chapter داخلة. يعني فقط هاي العشرة مطلوبة من عدكم. Okay. Now we have giving opinions. يعني اعطاء الرأي او ابداء الرأي. What do the underlined words refer to in these sentences? عدنا هاي الكلمة A It's هاي an underlined word It was really boring I fell asleep during the first act Sometimes the sentence can give the meaning of the underlined word It was really boring I fell asleep during the first act نانا معناها هي a play معناها مسرحية A play A play I didn't like B I didn't like his first one Here the word one is underlined But I couldn't put his latest one down Until the last page لاحظوا هاي الجملة sentence Last page معناها شنو هي A book or a novel A novel رواية I didn't like his first one But I couldn't put his latest one down until the last page. Now the underlined word means novel, riwaya. C. It was excellent. Have you seen it? It stars Julia Kershaw and Antonio Bellini. It was excellent. Have you seen it? It stars mean means it is a film. Here the underlined word. Refers to a film. She's usually good, but I don't think she was right for this part. She's usually good, but I don't think she was right for this part. Means uh, must be a name of uh, a woman, an actor for this part. يعني لهذا الشخصية في في الفيلم مثلا. If she is refers to a female, an actor here. I think they spoil them. They always give them whatever they want. Spoil them, spoil them. I think they spoil them. They always give them whatever they want. So the word them here refers to children here. Children spoil them. You the little children, children. F. It was a nice break, but the weather wasn't very good. Break here means vacation. يعني عطلة. It was a nice break, but the weather wasn't very 
good so it means here vacation or holiday it refers to holiday here g they were delicious john had tomato and mozzarella and i had tuna and sweet corn بس احنا احيانا من نشوف كلمة tomato and mozzarella رأسا يجي ببالنا البيتزا وهنا كلمة delicious refers to food so they here the underlined word they refers to pizzas it was really exciting especially when David Stewart scored in the closing minute it was really exciting especially when David Stewart scored in the closing minutes من كلمة scored يعني سجل سجل هدف in, in the closing minutes في الدقائق الأخيرة إذن here the word it refers to match match game or match match questions 1 to 8 1 to 8 with the opinions in exercise one. Okay, here, number one. Did you like the film? Did you like the film? See, it was excellent. Have you seen it? It stars Julia Kershwa and Antonio Bellini. As I said before, it refers to film. Number two, what did you think of the play? A, it was really boring. I fell asleep during the first act. Play. So, number two, A. Number three, did you like pizzas? G, they were delicious. John had tomato and mozzarella and I had tuna and sweet corn. So, the word they refers here, to, as I said, to pizzas. Do you like Malcolm's Baker's novel? Do you like Malcolm's Baker's novels. I didn't like his first one, but I couldn't put his latest one down until the last page. So the word one here refers to novels. So number four is B. Number five, what do you think of their children? E, I think they spoil them. They, are all, they always give them whatever they want. So the word them here refers to children. So number five is E. Number six, what was your holiday like? What was your holiday like? It was a nice break, but the weather wasn't very good. It here refers to the word holiday. So number six is F. Seven, what did you think of Sally Cotter? She's really, she, she's usually good, but I don't think she was right for this part. So number seven here, D, she, the, the underlined word she, refers to Sally Cotter. She's an actor. Number eight, what was the match like? H, it was really exciting, especially when David Stewart scored in the closing minutes. So, here the word it. The underlined word, it, refers to the word match. So number eight here is H.